here a and b can do a piece of work in 72 days that is if a and b work together they take 72 days to finish the work and b and c can do it in 120 days and a and c when they do it together they take 90 days to finish the work now the question is how much time a alone will do the work so let's find out we know when a and b work together they finish the work in 72 days so together their efficiency is 72 days so in one day they would do 1 by 72 of the total work similarly b and c can do the work in 120 days so in one day together they will do we can say 1 upon b plus 1 upon c will do the work will will do 1 by 120 Part of the work. Similarly, E and C can do the work in ninety days. So, in one day, A and in one day C will do one upon ninetieth part of the work. So we have three equations. This is equation three. This is equation two. And here, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention equation one. We have one upon a plus one upon b, which is equal to one upon seventy-two. In one day, a's efficiency plus one day b's efficiency is one by seventy-two amount of work. In one day, B's efficiency, C's efficiency in one day is one upon one twenty. In one day, A's efficiency and in one day, C's efficiency is one upon ninety. Now, the question is, how much time is A going to take to do the work alone? With these equations, we know how much time A and C will take to do the work. How much time A and B will take to do the work? but we don't know how much time a alone is going to take to do the work so we can do one thing if we know how much time a b and c together will take to do the work we can find out how much time is a going to take how let's find out in order to find out how much time a is going to take let's first write down all the equations we know 1 upon a plus 1 upon b is 1 upon 72 1 upon b plus 1 upon c is 1 upon 120 and 1 upon a plus 1 upon c is 1 upon 90 we have three equations here in the in the first equation we don't have c in the second equation we don't have a in the third equation we don't we don't have b so let's do one thing let's add all the three equations and let's see 1 upon a plus 1 upon b plus 1 upon b plus 1 upon c plus 1 upon a Plus one upon c. I added the left hand side of the equation separately, and now we will add the right hand side of the equations. So we have one upon seventy two plus one upon one twenty plus one upon ninety. So left hand sides are here, and the right hand sides are here. So let's work it out. 
we can see we have 2 1 upon a, 2 1 upon b and 2 1 upon c. So we can write it like this. So we have twice 1 upon a plus 1 upon b plus 1 upon c is equal to we took the LCM and we have 5 plus 3 plus 4 which is going to be 12 by 360. So here we go. We brought the 2 here. Here we go. So we conclude. 1 upon A plus 1 upon B plus 1 upon C is equal to 1 upon 60. Which means if A, B and C work together, they will complete the work in 60 days. So in one day, together they are going to do 1 upon 60th part of the work. And now the question is, we want to know how much time A is going to take to do the work. So we can find out how much time, within how much time, uh, A can finish, what is A's efficiency in one day. If we know that, we can find out how much time, total time, A will take to do the work. So let's work it out. We know how much A, B and C together will to take to do the work. And also, we know how much B and C, how much time B and C together will take to do the work. This is 1 upon 120. So, we know how much time B and C will take to do the work. We know how much time A, B and C will take to do the work. So, we can substitute this value here. Let's do it. We have 1 upon A and in place of 1 upon B plus 1 upon C, let's put 1 by 120 and the result is 1 upon 60. So, 1 upon A will become 1 upon 60 minus 1 upon 120. Here we go. So here we have 1 upon 120. In one day, A will finish 1 by 120th part of work. This clearly indicates that A will finish the work in 120 days. In one day, if she does 1 upon 120th part of the work, then in 120 days, she will be able to complete the work. That's it.